Okay, welcome back to Frontend Hero. And in today's video, we're going to be creating this animated shine border button with CSS masks. Now, um, I actually found this uh, effect here on this website called saner.ai, um, but it appears they've actually removed the effect uh, for some reason. I'm not sure why, because I think it's actually pretty cool. But regardless, we're going to be creating this uh, effect here today from scratch. So the very first thing we need to do is to create two files, index.html and style.css. And we'll just give this uh, HTML file here a little uh, title, call it animated shine border. And then uh, what we need to do is uh, pop in our style sheet. So we'll just say link rel uh, style sheet and type is text slash CSS and href is just style.css. So pop that there, give that a quick save. Okay, great. Now um, let's go into the body here and we're going to give this um, page a little heading. Uh, so just imagine this area actually will be like a call to action area. Um, okay, so heading to leave the rest, uh, get the best. Um, oh, we need to run on a server. Okay, there we go. Right, great. Uh, now, so we'll give it a little sub kind of paragraph here um, and we'll say, uh, don't just accept mediocrity, choose better. Yeah, pretty lame, but um, yeah, it is a lame little uh, tagline, isn't it? Okay, so next up, we actually need to create the uh, quote unquote button and um, it's basically just a link. So uh, yeah, ahref, um, we don't need to fill in any URL at the minute. Um, class is going to be uh, fe um, hyphen shiny hyphen border. So that is the bulk of the kind of index.html file at the minute. Um, next up, let's uh, style some things up in the style sheet. So as usual, um, for these kind of tutorials, what I usually do is just create a very basic reset uh, CSS rule. So basically a wildcard, we're going to say padding zero, uh, margin zero, and give everything a box sizing of border box because otherwise our boxes will lie to us. Um, so you think you've got a nice clean 200 pixel wide element and then you add some padding and then suddenly it's 240 pixels. So that's why we do that. Anyway, um, next up is HTML body. Um, I always just do this too. Uh, min height is going to be 100%. And just like that. Okay, so then moving on to the body element. And the first rule we'll add is display flex. As it's a tutorial, I don't mind everything being centered. Um, flex decoration is going to be column because we're going to stack everything. And align items is center. Okay, looking better. Um, now we're going to justify the content uh, center. Uh, that should be in the center. Uh, let's add height 100%. Oh, do you know what it is? It's the min height on the HTML and body rules. Let's just say height 100% there. Okay, fantastic. Moving swiftly on. Now, uh, let's just give this font family um, a very quick and dirty Arial uh, font. I will say um, background is a dark kind of, almost black, a dark gray, very, very dark gray. Uh, okay, great. Now let's style up the um, H2s and then the paragraph. So H2 will just be uh, white to kind of stand out. Uh, font size is going to be something like 50 pixels. Yeah, like that, maybe 52. Okay, um, and then margin bottom is going to be um, maybe 15 pixels. Okay, so content is getting there. Yeah, let's add a little font weight in there as well. So we'll say, just like the Saner website, we'll say font weight is 300, which is just like normal. Now onto the paragraph and we'll say the color is going to be not white, uh, just a kind of uh, a kind of light gray. Um, and the font size is going to be probably 26 pixels. That's looking pretty good, I think. And then again, just to give the, uh, the paragraph and the link a bit of breathing room will say par margin bottom is something like 35 pixels um, and yeah that looks pretty good for the moment now it's time to style up the anchor link or button whatever you want to call it so down here i'm just going to say uh dot fe hyphen i think it's shiny hyphen button uh yeah so actually you know what first up let's just say uh, give it a red pixel border um, why is that not showing? 
Oh, okay. So button, not border. Okay, so that's all linked up there correctly. Um, so going to say position relative, um, padding is going to be 20 pixels, uh, kind of top and bottom, and then the sides are going to be 32 pixels. Uh, okay, border radius is going to be 12 pixels and text decoration is going to be none. Now, uh, color is just going to be standard white and font weight will say it's going to be bold. So 500. Uh, just to kind of make it stand out a bit more. And the background of the link is going to be uh, light grey. So it kind of blends in a little bit with the body background, which is probably not the best uh, from a UX perspective, but it looks pretty cool. And this is just a tutorial. So anyway, um, let's increase the font size a little bit to 18 pixels. And so far, that's looking pretty good. Okay, so we do need to add the transition rule as well. So we'll say transition all uh, 0 0.3 seconds and it will just ease. So this will be used when we hover over the button. So it's not like a kind of uh, on off state. There is a kind of animation between it. So I'm going to add in the hover here um, and we'll just say background is uh, slightly lighter. So just like that. And you can see the animation look pretty cool. So let's remove the red border now. And I would dare to say that it looks pretty tasty. So very happy with that. And back into the index.html file we go. So we need to add more HTML markup in here just to accommodate the CSS masks. So we're going to add in a new div and we're going to say uh, class is fet border mask. And then inside of that is going to be a fet border glow. So let's leave that for the moment and dive right back into our style sheet. So now we actually have to do the fun job of creating the styles for the masks. So I'll copy a FET border mask there and I'm going to paste it in here as a class. OK, so now first thing is first, we need to say position is absolute because it's a uh, it's a child of the parent div, which is relative. And as per usual, we'll give it a red uh, pixel border. So nothing there. That's fine. Let's say width is 100% and also height will be 100% to fill the area of the div. Now, um, let's say top is going to be zero and left is going to be zero to align everything back to kind of uh, normal. OK, cool. Now, let's say border radius as per our parent is going to be 12 pixels, just like that. And at this point, we can actually remove the red border. Everything's looking OK. Right now onto the next rule, which is padding one pixel. Um, and it's a bit of a weird one, but stay tuned for the next part because this is crucial and it will actually allow our CSS masks to work. And here it is. So what we're going to do is basically create the mask here. So we're going to say mask and it's a linear gradient. And we're going to give it uh, some values inside of this function. So the color can be anything. I'm just going to put in black with, for the moment, um, zero, zero, and then content box. And that's the first color stop. And then the second part is linear gradient. Uh, again, uh, just a zero, 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 which is black and zero, zero, but this time border box. OK, there's a little bit to unpack here, so I'm going to do my best to try and uh, explain it. Right. So. We're creating two black linear gradients and applying them as masks. OK, so one is aligned to the content box and the other is to the border box. The idea basically is to have two shapes uh, subtract one from the other and create a kind of border effect. That's why we need the uh, one pixel uh, padding uh, rule in there, too. And now comes the final piece of the puzzle, which is mask hyphen composite. And the value we're going to give it is exclude. So again, we're going to work with the above rule mask and we're going to be basically be excluding those two um, values from each other. So we're just left with a one pixel area. Now, the very fun part. We're now we're actually going to be creating the shine effect. So we have a class here, uh, which we've created previously, and we're going to paste it in here. Uh, Fet border glow. So first things first, we're going to say um, background is um, a conic hyphen gradient. Now, just disclaimer, I had I never used a conic gradient before in my code. I had to uh, Google this and I think the website I used was color gradient uh, dot dev. So that helped me out quite a lot with that. So anyway, um, 
background conic gradient uh, from zero degrees and it's going to be to start off as transparent and then the next color stop will be white and that will be coming in at about 10 percent the third color stop is going to be black and that's going to come in at about 15 percent and the final color stop is going to be transparent again and that comes in at 20 percent and that is our full background conic gradient code there now we do need to add a few more rules in for it to actually show so the next line up is going to be position absolute and our next line of css is going to be top but this time it's going to be 50 percent and left again is going to be 50 percent and we'll explain why in a moment so next up is width and height are going to be 500 pixels so if you can imagine a big square over that button um which we can probably show you now um, with a red border. Actually, maybe not because uh, our masks. Anyway, moving on, <laughs> we'll get back to that. Um, okay, so transform, and we're gonna say translate, and uh, we're gonna give it two values inside the function, and that's gonna be X and Y, uh, minus 50% and minus 50%. So some people will know this little cheeky rule already. We're basically just aligning that box um, over the button in the center. Okay. So now we're going to say transform origin, which is zero, zero or top left. And that will come into play in a moment as well. So that all looks good. And even now we can see the border shine at the top of the button. OK, so let's see exactly what's going on here. So if I comment out this mask rule here, we should be able to see our red border just like that. OK, so here we can actually see the 500 pixel by 500 pixel box. And as you can see, it's completely centered inside of the, um, the button. Thanks to our little um, top 50%, left 50% and transform translate uh, rules. So hopefully you can see here now that we can see the shine there, the conic gradient. And once we add the mask to the above uh, div, which is FET border mask, it kind of um, only, you can only see one pixel of that shine coming through. So it kind of looks like a glow is following around the button. Or it will be in the minute once we kind of add in our keyframe animation. So we'll do that now. So yeah, we're just going to create a basic keyframe animation and we're going to call it something like rotate um, shine. Yeah. Okay, so the values. First up, we're going to say from 0%. Then we're going to give that some values. And we're going to say transform. And we're going to say rotate. So we're going to say rotate from 0 degrees. Now we do need to pop in our translate uh, values too. So uh, minus 50% and minus 50% for X and Y because uh, we've included up there and we need to include those values yet again or they'll get lost. So we have one rule there, then pop that down and we'll say to 100% same value. And instead of zero degrees here, we're just going to say 360. So we've got our animation there, rotate, shine, and now it's just a simple case of creating this uh, rule inside of our FET border glow. So we're going to say animation, the animation name, which is rotate shine. And we're going to say, maybe make it run for three seconds, uh, just like that. And it's linear. So a linear animation. So you can see it there um, running in all its glory and it's going to run infinitely with the infinite uh, property. And then that looks pretty weird actually it looks pretty cool uh, now we just need to uncomment the the mask so now you'll see the proper border glow shine effect thingy majiggy and uh i think that's basically it <laughs> so yeah uh that's it's such a simple little animation but as i say um once i found it on this saner.ai website i was like that is pretty cool so i needed to um, figure out how it worked but there we are and um, thanks very much uh, for getting this far and um watching but yeah if you're um interested in more of these videos uh please subscribe and um, i'll catch you guys in the next one